Your Very progression, nice. you, you go long enough with your, your long-term A1C levels high enough, then you lose your eyesight, you lose the feeling in your feet or your hands, and eventually you have a heart attack. Those are the most prominent. That's pretty much cut and dried. You keep those blood sugar levels up high enough and it starts to destroy the retinas in your eye. It destroys the capillaries in your fingertips. That's why people's feet go numb or they have pain. Then all, everything degenerates. Then you get, when you have kidney failure, everything degenerates. You, you get what we call edema, which is your cells swell up with water. Your feet become, or your ankles become swollen because you're not pulling the water out of your cells. It affects everything. Eyes, probably not ears, uh, extremities, heart, limbs, organs. You just come, come apart. And it's a silent killer because in the moment, unless you're having a really high glucose, you don't feel the things dying, but they're slowly dying because of the sugar in the bloodstream. You're slowly dying. You can slow it down. You can make it, quote, stagnant. Uh, many people can live productive lives, normal, but they, those people have to cut out the sugar and exercise two or three times more than a regular person who would never get diabetes. You see what I'm saying? They have to, they have to consume that sugar and make it a lifestyle change completely. No, let's not say that diabetes is killing everyone the same. There are people that are able to get on top of it. They're still diabetics, but it's like in a dormant state. And, and some people, I think some doctors even come out and say you're not diabetic anymore because maybe your, your, your glucose levels are way down. It takes lots of work. Lots of work. It's lots of self-discipline.